How long do I have to get your attention? Exactly three seconds! Hello everyone and welcome to another video of EcomExperts.io And this week we are reviewing Quick View by Saycom app So you know the drill, we do the walkthrough, then we show you a whole bunch of other sections If there is something specific you want to know about this app Just go to the timestamps down below, go to the right section and click straight up on. So Quick View has a 4.9 out of 5 uh, rating, but we'll see all that in the facts corner at the end, as well as the integrations and things like that. And also there is our contest, so it's up to you to comment right now at the bottom of this video. How many likes will this video have in 24 hours? If you win, you win four hours of dev work. That means me and my team we come to your store and we fix all those little quirks. That's like 500 bucks worth of development work that I'm giving for free to the person that guesses how many likes this video will have 24 hours after posting all right let's jump straight into the walkthrough of this quick view app the app is installed and we are on the app dashboard uh, it looks like the app is a one-page app so this is going to be quick the first thing on the dashboard is a option to rate the app. All right, straight out of the gate, and guys, you're not wasting any time. So by the way, if you're rating them, make sure to like and subscribe us as well. It makes a huge difference. All right, on the right side, we have two options, settings and pro version features. Cool, cool. Um, we are on the settings page and here we have four tabs. The general tab, disable or enable the quick view template. So here you can also choose where to position the quick view tab and change the button display on mobile. So that's pretty interesting. And in case you want to send customers to the cart page right after clicking add to cart, which kind of makes sense, uh, you can click this button right here. Uh, in this tab, you can customize the size of your pop-up and the number of words you intend to use. Then there is the color. In this tab, you can, and this might come as a huge surprise to you, but you can change colors. I know, I know this is a box of chocolates, uh, but this app allows you to change the color of each element in your pop-up, which is actually quite a, quite interesting. Nice work, Seco Map. The translation is the final tab, and a lot of apps don't do this, and here you can translate the text, change the font type, size, and translate the notification to the customer when an item is added to the cart. After that, we have three options. Install for the current team, reset the default, and save changes. Uh, we have made no changes, so we will just install to the current team as is. But before we install, let us see what more we have on the app. So we are stuck with a brand here um, that you can get rid of if you upgrade to premium. And there are more templates, as you can see uh, when you scroll down as well. On the bottom right, we have a static floating button for live support. That's interesting. We'll speak about that in our customer support section at the end of the video. But in case you want to fast forward to it, check the description box and there are the timestamps. Okay, let's go back and install this to our current team. Click on install here and a new pop-up appears. We'll upload all quick view files to your current team. If the current team has quick view file already, we will overwrite it. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, click on yes and it is processing. Our quick view is up and running, so let's go to our demo shop, our oh so loved demo shop, to see what we have done. Um, welcome on our demo shop and if you run the cursor on top of your products, there it is, quick view. And when we click on it, what is going to happen? Well, there you go. Uh, a pop-up of your card and the items in it. Uh, my good friends, this is Shopping Made Easy 101. Boom! Our walkthrough is done. And that means we are ready for the next section. Roll the tape. So here we will use our free speed tool that you can use to see how well your store is performing and actually you can also use it to 
check on your competition and spy on them to see which app they installed. Um, let's see what our Shopify speed check has to say. Uh, we already tested the results before we installed the app, so we can easily compare it. So now let's check it again. Uh, before the app had a total page size of 349 kilobytes, and now it's about 510, and the app added 11 additional requests. And this actually makes sense because it's very intertwined with your team. This means it does slow down the experience uh, a little bit. And if this is the only app running on your store, then, then that's absolutely no problem. But if you have 80 apps like this, this will add up. So you know mobile is crucial. Why don't you pay more attention to it? Let's go to the next section. All right, let's check it out. We are on our demo shop again, and here is our product. You click on it, and boom, there is a quick view button. Uh, the window loaded very fast, and it's looking very good. There is the Seiko map branding down there, but you know, it's barely visible. So mobile is check. Okay, it's a great app, but how about the... Customer service is available via this contact form. Where's my live chat at? Um, usual things, but you can also include the attachment, which is fun. Let's send them a message and see how fast we will get a response. In the meantime, if you don't want to wait for an agent, you can try to find the answer in the help center, or you know, maybe just leave a comment down below and we can help you out. But the help center has nine articles and also instructions for installation and liquid code edition. Um, we have waited quite a bit and haven't had yet had a response. So we will let you know as soon as they respond. And now you decided you don't want the app anymore. So this section is for you. Okay, let's say that you guys don't need this app anymore for some reason. I will show you how to remove the code residuals from your team. Uninstall the app from the Shopify admin and then go to Team Code. Um, this app will leave a lot of things in your team when you install it, which, I mean, is kind of normal and expected for this type of app. This is nothing specific with the app developer. Um, so I do advise you to delete all of this because it adds up and it does slow down your team. That's why we built this free speed tool so you can constantly check if there's any residue of apps um, still on your team. So click on the online store in the Shopify admin and from there I advise you to make a duplicate of your current team so that you don't mess anything up. This is what we do with all our developers when we work on your store, never work on a live version. To duplicate your team, click on Actions, and from the drop-down menu, choose Duplicate. Now that your store is safe, click on Actions again, and now from the drop-down menu, choose Edit Code. Alright, let's look at the templates first. Here you have this file that needs to be completely removed, so click on it, and in this new tab, click on Delete File. Next in line are the snippets. Completely remove these three snippet files, they are all related to this app and you don't need them anymore. Uh, four more files are left in the assets, delete the files as you already did in the previous steps. So from the file point we are all done, but there are still a few lines left here and there. So jump to the team.liquid and let's search for quick view. Um, here is one line, highlight it, delete it and save. And at the bottom of the page we have one more line related to this app. Repeat this process and the app is no longer on your team. In case you need any assistance, please pin me. Just let me know in the comment section down below uh, where you're stuck because we, we are here to help you. And you know, we're also available on social media pages and you can find links in the description below each of our videos. Okay, welcome to the facts corner. So here, let's go over the integrations. Uh, this app integrates with the free gifts, the store locator, the store pickup, 
the product label and the currency switcher apps. I'll show them all over right here. Now, if you're kind of like, okay, but what are my other options in here? Then we're taking a look at the competitors. Um, so we have QuickView Plus by Quickly Fly. Quick view and tracking by War Team. We have Quick View and Color Swatch by AAA Commerce Inc. Um, we have Smart Quick View by the Web App Team, and we have Quick View by QuickMeFi Apps. So that brings us to the ratings. We have a 4.9 out of 5 rating, about 1,130 reviews, so the breakdown looks like this, and as you can see, it is mostly 5 star uh, rated. Uh, there's a couple of 1 stars here, so we will overlay them on the screen so you can pause a second to see that it, anything of these uh, comments apply to you, uh, but most of the things we already covered. And then we will move that, and that is it. Thank you so much. But wait, last week's winner, who won uh, four hours of free development work? That would be this person right here. Uh, it might be me, because there is a guaranteed winner, and I'm the only one participating in my contest. Make sure to comment down below how many people will like this video 24 hours after posting. If you're too late, don't worry, we post videos all the time. Make sure to like and subscribe. I love you so much and I see you in the next video.